So Isha, um, I'm, I'm, pardon me, I sort of live in this really, really quirky world, you know, it's art, we don't know if it's so, you, is your surname? Gupta. Great. Uh, do you think fairs like this actually uh, bring a whole, to make it a fair, it's got to bring people from all over the map. A lot of people are intimidated by art. They think it's expensive. It's this, but what's your personal journey with art in terms of owning it and collecting? Actually, no. you're an artist yourself in your own way. But you know, I mean, what's your personal story uh, with art? When it comes to like a proper artist that we're talking about, I know someone very personally and closely, uh, Satish Gujral. So I've seen him paint. I've seen him do all of that. I actually just very recently bought a piece of art, uh, which I loved, and I uh, respond to art very instinctively. So I never buy art as an investment. Yeah. People spend a lot of money on something and they see it either as an investment or they see it as something to show off, but they're not really in love with that painting. That painting has to mean something to you if we're talking about art as a painting just to begin with here. Describe your room to us. Do you, do you have a, what do you have on the walls? What do you wake up to? What do you look at the first thing in the morning? <laughs> well, my room is kind of whimsical. An artist doesn't need to explain why and what he's done. It's just there. You either appreciate it or you don't. I like like an eclectic mix of things. So my room is like that. And it's also quite a girly room. Yeah. Because it's got a lot of muslin yeah. and very sort of soft, pretty kind of vibe. Uh, but my living room currently has this uh, one piece by Bhakti Narayan which was given to me by somebody. And uh, one piece by Nilofa Suleiman which was the first piece of art that I bought. Sure. Which I absolutely love.